News. Tomorrow's News Today. Banks are now dropping customers and deactivating their accounts merely because of their conservative political beliefs. It first started with Joe Biggs, who tweeted out that he was being censored by Chase Bank. He was being deplatformed. They were deleting his account because he was a conservative for no reason, and they only reinstated it after his tweet went viral. Next came Martina Marcota, a conservative performance artist who was deplatformed again by Chase Bank. Her account was terminated for no reason other than the fact that her business is a conservative-leaning business. Market fundamentalists have told us if a platform wants to kick you off, that's well within the right. They're a private company. They have the right to do so. The First Amendment only protects your speech against government intervention. We've been told this for a while, even though we specifically saw this coming. This is not new to us. We've been talking about this a while because InfoWars particularly is always the test case for this sort of thing. You might remember in the fall of last year that InfoWars was deplatformed off of Facebook, YouTube, Apple, Spotify, multiple social media accounts. We were then kicked off of PayPal, among other payment processors. Again, the market fundamentalists, the free marketeers like Ben Shapiro said, private companies have a right to do this. The First Amendment doesn't protect you against those. Sorry, it only protects you against the government. If you want to if you want to buy and sell stuff, you better create your own processing platform. And we accurately predicted, okay, but what about when banks begin to kick us out of their banking institutions? What will we do then? Will we create our own banks? What about when businesses refuse to recognize our bank because they're conservative or they're free thinking? They care about human freedom, liberty. What about then? And now it's happening. We tried to warn you. We tried to warn the free marketeers that this would happen, but they knew that this would happen and they're okay with it because people like Ben Shapiro are not on our side. They're on the other side. They're okay with this stuff happening because they will know that they will never be on the bad end of it. They know the only people that will not be able to buy and sell, the only people unallowed to have public voices are the people who are in competition with Ben Shapiro over the truth. Ben Shapiro would have you thinking that the status quo of neocons versus neoliberals is the best way to go. We need to return to the status quo of Bush versus Obama, John McCain versus Obama, Hillary Clinton versus Mitt Romney. Rerun after rerun after rerun because they benefit from it because they are on that side. People like Ben Shapiro, Max Boot, Bill Kristol, they're on the side of the establishment. And they are happy to see you get deplatformed, have your voice removed, have your bank account terminated just because you disagree, because you want to return American prosperity, you want to restore American sovereignty, because you disagree with them. I'm not here just to say I told you so. I'm here to remind you that InfoWars was the first to be deplatformed from these payment processors, and we accurately predicted that this would happen with banks as well. Luckily, it's getting coverage on Drudge and other websites. Now, of course, other individuals were hit with this sort of stuff the same way that we were, but it did not happen to any other business in the way that it happened to us. I'm just here to remind you that that happened, and we accurately predicted that banks would be the next ones to do it. Something has to be done. President Trump is the only one that can really do anything right now because we know that Congress will not act. They've had hearing after hearing after hearing on social media deplatforming, and they don't care. We need someone to do something before it's too late because I guarantee you, if something is not done, it will be too late. My name is Jake Lloyd reporting for NewsWars.com. Tomorrow's news today. The scientists at InfoWars Life have created a powerful formula for inflammatory support and joint support. Discover the power of ancient medicine with bodies. Bodies contains one of the most potent forms of turmeric available. Turmeric has been used for thousands of years and is one of the most studied herbals today. It is well known in traditional medicine for its soothing properties. Our pure turmeric extract plus piperine from black pepper makes for optimal absorption to help boost and support your flexibility, mobility, joint function, immune system, and so much more. 
Regular turmeric root from the store only contains 1 to 5% of active ingredients, but our turmeric root extract contains over 95% of the active ingredients. Bodies combines turmeric with organic herbs such as spearmint, sage, lemon balm, and thyme to work synergistically for full body support. Try bodies today at InfoWarsLife.com or call us at 1-88-253-3139.